Hi guys, Bink here. This is episode 25 of uh, Let's Learn Aegean Civil War II. Um, last episode we had done our movement and we are ready to do our production and then uh, and then we'll process the turn. Um, I keep going back and forth on this. I think I am going to have uh, I think I am going to have McClellan attack here. Attack this unit. So we're going to do that. I did notice while doing the movement that Stone is on a, not a good defense or watching the recording, the previous recording, so we'll fix that. Um, we're moving into here, to Strasbourg. Pardon me. I think we're good to go here now. Okay. Say just because. And we're going to process the turn. Let's see where I want to have things centered first. Right here. Okay. I'll process the turn. Is there something in here I wanted to draw attention to? I don't recall. I don't recall. I thought I saw something when I was watching it. In the previous episode. All right. Anyway. Oh. We didn't do we didn't do our production. I would just about hit the go button. That would have been less than optimal. Okay. Everything has got something. Let's pop a couple in there. Put one there. I think we're good here. Um. Various. This charter merchants, I would like to do that. This is going to um, give us some more of those merchant ships out in our shipping lanes that bring in money and war supplies. So I'm going to I'm going to do that for a hundred thousand dollars. It is going to give us a little bit of inflation, but our inflation is very low right now. We can we can do a, a draft to, to, to immediately get four hundred conscript companies at the cost of some morale and victory points. We can do the pay the premium charter ocean ships. I don't think I'm going to do any of these right now. We may come back and revisit those. We can raise taxes again if we need to. We can build more industrial sites. Nothing new here. This is up to 23, but that's not that's not terrible. Not terrible. Um we need to get some some building going on here. I think I'm going to build, now that we have a great deal of uh, war supplies here, I am going to build some, another, maybe focus on a naval, on a naval build here. Let's see, up here in Philadelphia, perhaps we will build a blockade flotilla, one blockade flotilla, and Let's see, where can we build? What is the difference between these? Just where they can be built, I guess. Maybe in Baltimore, we're going to build a monitor and a monitor. We'll call that good. And let's go back to the northwest. And we can build another. We can build more river ironclads. We can also build these mortar boats. Um, what those do, if I recall, they have a, a siege, give you a siege bonus when, when having a siege. Riverine, that's just a river transport. They're pretty cheap. 20 war supply, though. Uh, timber clad, those are pretty powerful units. Um, 50 war supply, whereas the river ironclads cost 70. Mm -hmm. Let's build two more river ironclads. There we go. And then whatever is left, um, we'll, we'll, we'll bring in some more infantry. Where, what are we looking at where our current stuff is that we've built in the past? We've got some Illinois and Iowa infantry here. Just a little bit. Maybe we'll go back to the east. Since we're going to be able to build cores here pretty soon, maybe we need to think about building 
up some more some more infantry so Atlantic Let's build up a little bit of infantry here in Maryland more is always better and we're out of war supplies completely so that is our production. Do we need to habeas anybody? Is everybody behaving themselves sufficiently? Yeah, let's habeas here. Maybe in there. What is these? These are three victory points per turn we're using these up on pretty heavily here. Increase the development level. What is this, 75? Yeah, let's do that in some of these places where we have some, uh, some, uh, what am I trying to say here? some production capacity so that we can increase that. I'm going to put this uh, sea mine here in the James Estuary and one in Hampton Roads. Um, Mescaleros, a bandit paid to harass the enemy. And spies, send a spy to gather intelligence on enemy troops will reduce the hide value of enemy regulars by two. Costs $10,000 and a 50% success. Don't know if there's anywhere specifically we would, would necessarily want to do that. Um, this would possibly be a good idea to do it, but we've, uh, we've already going to send Banks in there, so he's going to find out everything he needs to know about those guys. Um... I don't really know at the moment if there's anywhere in particular that that, that would be. Maybe we'll do that. Well, $10,000. Do I want to pay him $10,000 for a 50% chance of that working? I don't think so. Let's go out to the west coast here. Does anybody need habeas? Yeah, let's have you San Francisco here. Um, building roads. Um, $75,000. Whoops. There's, whoops. That's not what I want. There we are. Open trail. Roads isn't, doesn't look like anywhere we're going to be able to build that, except way out here in Harrison, Missouri. I don't know if there's much to gain by putting that there. But this open trail, it gains us a victory point, increases the civilization level, or I guess it builds a track. What do we got down here? We can't really put it anywhere down here. I'm going to just hold off on that. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indian Reserve removes an Indian village. Indian cooperation will get them to... will ask a local Indian tribe to muster more warriors, although their obedience will be uncertain. Yeah, we don't really want to do that. Cavalry screen increases our hide value. Disinformation will increase our hide value. Deep Recon will reduce the hide value of enemy units by two. You need six cavalry elements for that. That's, that's, a, that's a sizable cavalry force. And Sabotage Rail. At least one element of light, light troops or cavalry. Okay, so we're not going to do that. I think we're good here and we're ready to execute the turn. 
Um, yeah, I think we're good. Hit save, just for safety. And hit process the turn. start driving on Richmond here, I think. Now I certainly could be playing a more aggressive game here, but it's just, you know, this is not how to win. It's, 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 it's you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep things at a pace that I think is, is more historically appropriate. Um, so I'm going to uh, start, start heading towards Richmond now. But again, you know, I don't think the AI is such that it's going to you know, we could we could fake it out and, and take advantage of it, and I don't really want to play like that. Jackson there in Charlottesville. We knew he was there, I think. Um, this unit here is going to move by rail somewhere. Wouldn't that be a, if he came over here at the same time? Whoa. Okay, so down at Beaufort, um, Hunter has... Uh, taken out this militia unit, so now we have taken control of Beaufort. Army of the Shenandoah has arrived in Albemarle, Albemarle. so just as soon as we decide we're going to go hit him, he moves his trains in. Yeah, so should have listened to my, should have listened to my original idea there instead of deciding to do something different. Okay, so we're, we're building up more forces here at Bowling Green. And in Norfolk, it looks like another unit has come in. A unit here. What's going on up here? Decatur, Tennessee. Oh, that's a starting to build up some forces down here. Wright's Brigade. It's up to 100 power here. Now we do see the uh, pillage um, icons out there, so that does show. Yeah, Union defeat. Well, we didn't take a great deal of damage out of that, but uh, we didn't lose any prisoners. Oh, well, we did wipe out though this regiment or this brigade, this light infantry brigade, and this artillery unit. Completely, completely destroyed them. I wouldn't be surprised if that battle is not done, though. I think I had uh, Lou Wallace following Grant, so he, I think what that little arrow is right there, off of him. But I don't actually want him to be in there. I want him to stay in there. It's good. Okay. Ah, we lost one national morale from a battle. Okay, I think I know where that's at. Uh, the Union has signed a contract to increase the number of merchant ships in the merchant lanes. Let's see if that actually happened. Chartered shipping. So we gained three of them, and they will be fixed in this region for four turns. I'm just going to stick them in here right now. Why not? Merchant ship. Let's see what that thing does. This ship has a transport capacity, but only for supplies. Okay. All right, um, war bonds from the Confederacy, and they're building. They're really going nuts on their uh, on their industrial production. Edwin Sumner has been promoted to major general. That's apparently just a uh, just a a, uh, a scripted event, nothing, because he has he hasn't really even been in a fight. I don't think yet. Sherman has joined Grant's headquarters. Nice. Uh, we did lose two rail capacity due to winter conditions. Epidemics have struck in the old northwest. Oh, that's Banks. Banks did not um, advance into Strasbourg, so he failed his activation check and reverted to defensive, but minus 30% strength and minus f cohesion, so he, he potentially took a bit of a, a, bit of a, a chunk there. Okay, and epidemics in the Deep South. The only Deep South unit we have... Oh, what is this? So the Fort Jefferson 
Uh, Garrison took a hit there. And in the west, which one here? The, the uh, St. Louis Garrison. So not too bad, nothing, nothing uh, critical. We made a breach in the Beaufort uh, fortifications and took it over and captured some, some guys. And then we lost this battle against um, Johnston up here and we lost one national morale out of that. So he did have Jackson here. Let's see if there's any. This guy did good. Local. Oh, these units were exhausted. This division's a little small. So we just, it was not a, a major battle there. It, uh, if, uh, if I had quit uh, screwing around and put him in there last turn, we might have been a little better off, but it's what I get. So, um, what else we have here? Next, the monitor was delayed before moving. Banks inf uh, issued conflicting orders and reverted to defensive, and so with McClellan. Now, this happened with McClellan. He failed to be activated so he did take that 35 percent up to 35 percent defensive penalty when he moved in there porter's fleet from wear and tear carlton oh carlton has finally arrived down here good the western command has arrived in rolla so that is uh it's fremont moving out moving our base of operations up a bit here Western Command, 11th Division, suffered in the Mississippi Confluent. That would be Wallace. Eleventh Division, suffering in Hickman. Is that still him? So he's taken some quite a bit of this wear and tear and exhaustion for some reason. Atlantic Fleet. Okay, then great. Nothing terribly important there. Um, that that uh, New England blockade squadron got another ship. He might be he might be full up now. And we have a artillery unit and the pack train are done. Okay, that's good. Uh, while taking Beaufort, we got some supply. Now, um, this unit is, obviously we're not bringing in supply from, from overland um, with this unit. We don't have a, a lot of supply here. It does. It is going to produce some supply for us because we do have the harbor. And so we're producing five supply per turn here, which we probably could have seen. Yeah, if that supply stocks, that little plus five and plus one in parentheses there. I think that's our our uh, supply and ammo that's being produced each turn. Anyway, um, where we're going to get supply for this guy is this harbor. We, um, if you recall from seeing in the, uh, where is it, this one? Yes, the uh, transport ships transported 1,900 supply points overseas. So that is what is going to be what's supplying this guy here. Not Not this particular turn it didn't, but in the turns ahead we're going to see those, uh, that's where his, he's going to get his supply from. Um, we took Fort Henry and captured 14 supply there. Let's see what we're looking at here. We don't have the military control. I think a next logical place for this guy to go is, is down here. Um, a lot of those uh, those movement order things where people are taking hits from exhaustion and wear and tear, that's due to moving in regions with harsh weather. So that's what all of those messages are telling us here. I don't think it was, I don't think we're, what we're seeing is, is serious damage. Let's take a look at somebody we moved down here. We moved this guy down through this harsh, we harsh weather. Um, Lost and lost some troops, I guess. Each of these lost thirty troops. So it's not to be not to be taken lightly, but maybe not as 
not as bad as maybe I've been thinking it would be, perhaps. This guy lost some troops going down there. I do hate to lose troops to to anything like that, though. I, I, I think that uh, being callous about that and not caring what the what the losses you take from from those from those sorts of things is extremely unrealistic, and should be uh, used sparingly. Um, Fort Gibson Indian Territory has been reduced to zero. So they've taken something down there. Uh, the habeas was unsuccessful in Central California. Our sea mines were unsuccessful. Unsuccessful habeas in West Virginia in Harper's Ferry. And our Baltimore one completed. So we should see what Baltimore's up to. Baltimore's up to 75 now. So that's pretty good. Telegraph merchant shipping. Um, oh, we captured. Oh, here we go. Our merchant fleet is up to 20, 22 war supply there. Five raiders have been spotted in that thing. I think I should maybe reinforce their escort down there so that we can maybe knock those down a bit. We captured a 20 pounder artillery, artillery in Nelson, Virginia. So even though we lost this battle here, we captured some artillery. Hey, 20 pounder parrots. So I still think, um, I still think McClellan now is going to need to fall back. There's no supply in Culpeper. I think we might want to fall back to a depot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going to follow up on us. Okay, um, is that it for, um, oh, Sumner has been congratulated for his actions by the enemy New Seniority 25. Maybe that's why he was eligible to be promoted. No, I still, no, he actually did get promoted. That was a scripted event. Mansfield has been congratulated. He's now promotable. So we're in early February. We're going to have our, uh, I believe, early March is when we're allowed to build, um, allowed to build uh, course, and that's going to be kind of a, uh, the next major um, how-to that we're going to come up with on, on this. We're kind of running out of of, uh, of those sorts of things. But we'll just keep keep playing on here just to see how it all goes. Um, what's next? We've gone through that. So the next, uh, the next step would be to go through the movement of each uh, of each of our of our units. But I think I'll save that for next episode. This seems to be a logical a logical stopping point here. What do we got going on up here? Just a Confederate force up here. Maybe we want to put a garrison. Oh, we do have a garrison there. Let's look at our military control. What is this? Industries and Armory in Montgomery, Tennessee. Um, that's going to be handy when we take that. Does Bowling Green have anything? Bowling Green has this Kentucky Farmers. That's a lot of supply that's produced by Bowling Green. So that's a that's an important thing. And I think you would notice um, if you if you actually did the analysis of these strategic towns that they flagged as being important. I think that if they didn't have these, you still would um, end up targeting the same the same places, you know, because they'll be important because they'll be industrial centers or supply centers or or p have a political significance due to being um, capitals or something. So I think this uh, this objective city thing it just kind of brings these these places to your attention that you would otherwise have to dig for. But I think in the in the absence of those uh, of those strategic town concept I think those still would be the uh, the things you would direct your operations towards um, I think we'll call this episode to a close and we will pick this up uh, pick this up next time <laughs>